and good morning. It is clearly a depressing day outside today. And it's also depressing because it's my last day reading body CTs. Ever. Sort of. So like I said, this is my last time ever doing a body CT rotation, which is a little depressing and fits the rainy day I'm having today. So since I'm in my fourth year and I'm doing interventional radiology, you only do three, well, four diagnostic rotations this year. One is nuclear medicine, one is mammography or breast imaging, and the other is body CT. So I've been reading body CTs every day for four weeks now, and today is my last day. And I don't know, I'm having mixed emotions about it because I've always loved body imaging. In fact, if I were to stay in diagnostic radiology, I would do a body imaging fellowship. Or if I didn't like interventional radiology, I would do body imaging fellowship because I don't know, I just like it, I get it. Maybe it's because I did surgery my first year as an intern, or I don't know, I just like the surgical procedures and everything that goes with body imaging. I find it more relatable and more interesting than the other fields. So it's kind of sad having this be my last day in residency reading body CTs. And in part, it's like when you get to residency, you wanna learn how to read CTs. And now I've read so many of them that I feel like, I don't know. I'm just, I wanna read more, I guess. You have this big expectation when you get into radiology residency that you want to learn how to read CTs and you want to learn how to read them well, better than anybody else in the hospital. And now you can, and it's like my last day doing that. And now I'm all of a sudden a fourth year radiology resident and this is it, which is kind of crazy. So basically what I'm trying to say is I love body imaging. I love reading CTs and I'm going to miss it, but hopefully I will end up reading them in private practice or wherever I end up because I don't want to let my diagnostic skills go to waste. I still want to do a majority IR in practice, but I want to read a little on the side as well. Which brings me to my next point. So that's the only problem I have with this interventional radiology pathway that we're doing now. It's good in the sense that it allows us to do a ton of interventional uh, rotations during our residency, but it also, towards the end of our residency, takes away from our diagnostic abilities, but it's the way it goes. So today's my last day. I'll crush some CTs and yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I just crushed a whole bunch of CTs this morning. It is now lunchtime, which means conference, and then I have to do a little work, which I'm about to do right now. And it's almost like exactly how it was when I walked into this place. Pouring down rain and even more disgusting because it is dark. So I'm going home, catch you when I get back in the warmth of my lovely home. officially made it home throughout this rainy weather and a lot of you guys don't know and the reason I didn't really create a real video this week is because I've been sick all week as you can probably tell by the sound of my voice right now. <coughs> I started feeling kind of crappy on Monday, went into work on Tuesday morning and like progressively started feeling more terribly as the day went on. So when I finally got home on Tuesday night around 5.30 or 6, I had a fever and I went to bed at like 6.30. I felt horrendous. 
and actually woke up in the morning feeling even worse and I called out of work for the first time since this is the second time throughout all five years of residency so far I called out of work and the first one was for because I had the flu and I couldn't get out of bed for like three days and this time was it had to have been the flu I don't know what it was but it felt like the flu but it only lasted like 36 hours or so and I'm getting better now but still feeling kind of terrible I'm the type of person that it like pains me to take a day off of work because when you do so you have to rely on your co-residents to kind of cover for you for instance those all those body CTs that I would be reading every day will not get read unless I'm there so what happens when we call in sick is one of my co-residents will have to cover me from another service which means they get less time on their service and have to work just as hard on my service which is pretty busy body imaging and yeah so they have to cover for me and I hate feeling like that I hate making people cover me I don't know I just feel bad I'd rather go into work and like struggle than have people cover for me that's just my personality I don't know I just feel like it gives like a bad perception of you and I just I don't know I'm not a fan of it so I try not to do it ever but I think two days out of five years is okay I mean, when you get the flu, you get the flu. And it's kind of good to get reminded of how bad you actually feel when you have a fever and like the flu like symptoms or whatnot. Because man, it feels terrible. So this is exactly why this video is kind of just all over the place. I wanted to show you guys that it's my last day on body CT, which is very sad. And then I wanted to tell you guys that I was sick all week and that's why you don't get some cohesive video like you're looking for. I promise I'll be back again next week, hopefully making a little better video. Although I do start IR again next week, which means I'll be very busy again, which means I probably won't have that much time to make videos, but I'll always make time. Even when I'm on call, I'll try to film it. So if you guys like those type of videos of me on call, let me know in the comments below. If you had the 36 hour flu this year, let me know in the comments below as well. It was going around like my entire department. Oh, let me read a question. Hold on a sec. And this is a fitting question from Middle Joe, how do you have time to edit and upload these videos with having to work 96 hour shifts? Um, basically, I just kind of make time. This is kind of like my relaxing time. You know, you see me travel a lot and like when I'm on the planes, I'll edit videos or when I come home, I'll edit videos. Uh, it's not it's not really work for me. I come home and I'll edit a video on the couch or whatnot. And as far as filming videos, I'll think of an idea like before I go into work and if it's something that involves work or something in the hospital I'll stay after work to film it and then I'll just come home and edit it or I'll also kind of get the idea so say I, I usually do one maybe two videos a week anything more than that while in residency is very tough so sometimes I'll just create an idea in my head I usually think of all the ideas in the shower like that's where I do all the thinking I'll literally shower and I'll just stand there and I'll just think of like things to do videos on it's weird but um yeah I always think of the video and maybe I'll come up with like a loose kind of like theme to the video and then what I want to talk about in the video and make some notes and then I'll just go film it and then I'll edit it rather than like coming home and sitting on my butt watching TV I just sit on my butt editing videos and yeah that's pretty much it so basically if you like doing something enough and you want to succeed doing something you need to just kind of make time for it. And that's what I do. Because I like teaching you guys things and I like opening you guys up and allowing you to see what it's really like as an interventional radiology resident. I try to keep it real. I try to tell it how it is and give you guys the real perspective on my life as a resident. On that note, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. If you have a question, leave it in the comment below and I will try to answer it. Otherwise, well, if you have any other ideas for videos you want me to do, let me know in the comments below as well. Otherwise, I'll see you guys with hopefully a better video than this on the next video.